everyone. Uh, as per usual, a very, very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick as we hear this delightful music playing. We're looking at the Adams Family on the ZX Spectrum 128K this time. So I think that's the only version of the uh, Spectrum it come out on. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. This one was published by Ocean in 1992 and based on the, uh, well, the creation from uh, Charlie, well, Charles Adams back in 1938 from the comics and made it to TV and film as well. Now, in this game, you control uh, the character Gomez, which is the head of the household. All his family have been captured, which you see uh, there, Lurch, Morticia, Wednesday, and the others, uh, Lurch, and you must walk around the castle and rescue and find all of them. Good music here, let's listen. Anyway, he must search the mansion and the grounds, kill all the monsters and rescue absolutely everyone. Now I probably won't be that good at this game, so here we go. I do have a cheat for um, uh, Infinite Lives, but haven't input it as of yet. Now, music is delightful, sound is great, how does the thing play? It's like a ghost and goblin sort of affair, as we're walking across skulls. By holding down the fire button you can do an amazing jump. Right, looks like there's some levels we need to uh, land on to get across here. Uh, the moon is looking very cyan. Right, one. All right, now, if you go to the bottom, you will die on some hot plate or volcanic lava. Those skeletons walking backward and forward, whoops, as I die again, uh, you can land on their heads to disable them ever so slightly. Quite a bit of colour clash there as the characters go back and forth, so you can't really make out the enemies too much against the background. Could have done a bit better on the 128K, but I can see this game being very popular. Now, our lives are on the bottom left. You can see seven. Those hearts represent our strength how much is left of a life but you know if you fall on lava you pretty much die straight away like that there we go curses doom so a map would be quite helpful in this one if you have completed this let me know it doesn't look like the sort of game you can just pick up and complete on your first and second go which I'm absolutely proving now I did like the Adams family preferred them to the monsters the TV series but the house is extensive here a lot of attention to detail I can see this one being very popular back in the day one of those exploration games as we go up here but um, looking back at it now um, the colour clash on the character, they're so, so see-through, I can't really see what he's doing. Right, um, looks like lots of different things to avoid. Spears coming out of the hallway. Yeah, it's quite tricky this. Quite tricky indeedy. If you have completed it, let me know on either this, the Commodore 64, or the Amstrad CPC. Adam's family spelt with two Ds, which of course you knew. Yeah, I seem to be dying quite quickly here. Two lives left, rescued nobody. They're creepy and they're kooky, they're ooky and they're spooky. Something, 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 the Adams family. Bubble a bum, 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 bubble a bum, bum, bubble a bum, bubble a bum. So, yes, yeah, so you got rescue. Let's see who you got to rescue. You got to rescue Gomez's wife as it's game over, Morticia. We'll put a poke in now. His son, Pugsley, the daughter, Wednesday. Granny, Lurch, and the Thing, which is a severed hand which walks around the place. Now, you get four uh, continues, but wasted time continuing when you completed none of the game so far, Nick. Good graphics, looks absolutely delightful, this. It's uh, a feast, a feast to the eyes and to the ears as well. It's the sort of game as a kid, if I'd played it initially, although being rubbish, I want to play it a few more times to try and get the most out of it. It demands you to get good at it. Right, immunity now, I can walk past anyone without dying, but that doesn't mean to say I'm going to get any distance in the game, I just want to show you a few more of the screens. It does look rather cool this one, I'd be surprised if it got bad ratings back in the day. Uh, you need to be a bit skilled on this one, uh, it's a bit beyond the normal just basic gameplay. But it's well coded, it looks nice, it captures the Adam family well, it's a good license overall. Boom. Yeah, you've got to be a bit pinpoint there. Right, looks like I need to get above. Can't jump on those lava pits to watch them out. Could use some colour. I prefer ghosts and goblins, to be honest with you. But, you know, this technically is probably a little bit better. Uh, it's just it's just it's got the name in it. Ghosts and goblins. I'm tiny by lines. Jump on that. Oh, look, that's good. Now, that door is locked. I don't know how we get the key to that. If you know, then put it in the comment section below. Because if you're watching this, it's probably for nostalgia purposes or you clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, you just want to see how the game was. I didn't own this one back in the day, big surprise. But the key's probably obvious somewhere. As soon as we get it, we can go in there and we've landed on the hot plate and we've died. But lives, I don't think lives have gone down, have they? They might have gone up, if anything. 
Right. Do 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 do. Quite a few um, quite a few films of the Adams family. Started off, as I say, in uh, comic books, um, written by Charles Adams in 1938. Yeah, I think that'd be quite worth worth quite a bit now. Right. I don't know how you get past these two things without the cheat on it. Can you just jump on their head? Oh, you can jump and hover a bit. That's a bit okay. Right up on the joystick. There's some crazy slimer sort of thing, and that just runs straight into you. He's supposed to be white, but he just blends with the background completely. So I think you pretty much know what I think about this game already. Uh, well put together, lovely graphics, lovely sound, although the, the colour clash on the central characters and the enemies ruins it ever so slightly, because you can't quite see what they're doing. But fence them in into a solid block, separate them from the background, and you have an awesome game. So it is lacking there for me, but I'm not quite sure what they could do. I mean, there's loads of detail pegged into this. Look at all the detail on the graphics here. This is 8-bit, remember? So, you know, it looks pretty awesome in that respect. Maybe they run out of memory. 128K is not a great deal to work with when you're looking at the sound and music as well. Uh, you might have noticed as well, on the bottom left, it rotates around the family that still need to be rescued. Who needs to be rescued? Absolutely everyone. Yeah, right. There's an apple up there. It's for strength, but I don't think we actually need it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, where do we gone now? Okay. Yeah, I think the pokes cause a bit of bother now. We seem to be stuck in the scenery. Oh dear, can I get out of here? No, we're stuck in the scenery. I might have to reset this. Yeah, it might be time for a sometime later, because I don't really want to end it here. We're seeing a few rooms. You've pretty much got the gist of it already. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's reboot this thing. Right, it's loaded. Listen to the music again. It's pretty cool. Da la da, da la da. Sing along at home. One, two, get ready. Boof! The Ad Family! Right, off we go. We know what we're doing here. We're playing, well, rubbish. And uh, just try and explore it. Can I get across this bit here? Boom! Yeah, I would have played this a lot as a kid. Hopefully got a lot better than what I am now. Because as you know, as you turn into an adult, you do tend to lose a lot of your skills. And oh, look at that. He says that by talking at the same time and got across. Has that skeleton got a walking stick? Why does skeleton need a walking stick? Oh, well, right, yeah. If you jump on stuff, there's a letter A there. Oh, is that relevant? A for Adams. Tony Adams, who used to play for Arsenal. Uh, oh, oh, man. Or there was some. Um, who was that Adams that used to do judo? Neil Adams? He used to be a judo man uh, from Great Britain. Alright, there's a red door but there, there with a. With, obviously, you need a key for that as well. So, I reckon in the mansion you can find the keys to this sort of stuff. But there's no keys out here. There's a tornado Tasmanian devil thing. Some crazy vampire bat. Yeah, so this is a dead end unless you've got the red key for that door, which I haven't. There's a heart up there, maybe we'll get that. But as you can see, I would have died probably a million times by now. Du -du 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 -du. Can't see any of the kidnapped family there. Wednesday's the normal one. Hugsley. Good old Gomez. I would like an option, you know like everyone's a Wally, we can control all the characters. I would like a, an option where you can change what character you're you're controlling. So if you control um, Morticia or Pugsley, then you have to rescue Gomez as well. They could have easily done that, but again, maybe there was a memory sort of thing. So everyone's a Wally sort of element on this would have been quite cool. But I can't take it away, uh, this has been put together by very skilled programmers, and then published by Ocean in 1992. As I say, let me know what the other versions are like if you um, have played them. Is it quite similar? Is it easier? Is, or is it completely and utterly different? Boom, ba doom, ba doom. So you won't stay too far on here because my, my skills have deserted me here. I think um, we reviewed Super Kid a few months ago. I think I prefer Super Kid to this one only because it's slightly easier. But you know, I am a sucker for easy, nice looking games. This one you need more of a skill of a nincompoop uh, than what I have here. Nice mansion, green brickwork. I think uh, it's not the sort of mansion you'd like to wake up after a night on the beer uh, with a hangover. Uh, it'll give you more of a headache. Spectrum colour design house. Looks good in a game, but in real life I think it'd be a little bit awkward. Oh, there's a lift there. And it only goes down. Right. Lots of opportunity to die in this game. But as I said, 
Um, very generous the amount of lives it gives you, even if you haven't got a poke on it. Nice grandfather clock there, with one hand on it. Why well, it's only got one hand, I don't know. Maybe it's 12 o'clock. Um, right. So, there's another purple magenta door there. Just jump across. So we're exploring new bits of the castle. When there's a kid, I would like seeing the new rooms. Boof. Boof. Hmm. Okay, right. I seem to be going around in circles a little bit, it seems. Or is it very similar looking rooms? Is that going to kill me, that? It is. Oh, no. Oh, no. As they said in Lemmings. Oh, no. Before you blew them all up. If you know that Lemmings reference, well done you. Right, over the spikes. Not dying. There's another There's another letter A thing there. Obviously, we need to jump on that. But it's over a lava pit, and I've fallen into blooming lava. That's something you don't want to do. I don't know why there's lava in this house. It's probably not very good for the floor joists, is it? Lava seems to seep through. Yeah. If you've ever put volcanic lava upstairs, has it seep through? Like that acid blood in Aliens, I'd imagine something like that might very well happen. Quite an extensive house, this one. Um, it'd be quite expensive, cost a few million pounds. I don't know where the Adams family got all their money from. They probably scared the last tenants away, I would have thought. Boing. Boing. Oh no. Right, come on, come on. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to do a big, big jump, but it is dependent on how long you got the fire button down. Can I get over this hot plate? Can I jump on this thing? Oh, well, you just slip off. It's a little bit slippery. I think you need to just fall off there and just take your hand off the joystick completely, and that's your only chance, maybe, of getting across. Boing. Boing. Right, okay. Come on. Just drop off and then do nothing. Oh, it slipped off again. I think the top of that, that um, A is covered in soap or something. I don't know who's done that. Some sort of, um, I don't know, sadist. Oh. D D D D D D. I turned off. I've turned off the poke, if you haven't noticed. We've got zero lives left. Uh, can we get across here? I think I turned the poke off. Um, right. Yeah, I did. Look at that. Game over. It's a great game, this one. Um, I'm pretty inept at it, which we come to expect. But uh, it's a sort of game where, as I said before, um, it does entice me to just want to keep playing to get better and better. As a kid, I think I would have loved it. Um, a little bit tricky to get a hang on first of all, but as soon as you've got a few tips, I guess, I reckon you'll be exploring quite a lot and rescuing various members of the family. So we'll leave this going for a bit so you can hear the uh, the music. But hope you liked having a look at that one. I was impressed. The Adams Family on the ZX Spectrum 128K, uh, published by Ocean in 1992. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fun. Goodbye. Goodbye.